Hello everyone, welcome back to what is going to be Train to World 5. Today we are taking a look at the newly released manual for Just Trains' upcoming West Coast Mainline Preston Carlisle DLC, which, yeah, is going to release in about oh, a week, week or so. And yeah, let's have a let's have a look at the manual. I actually had to downsize the file size because it was actually lagging my computer. Because yeah, the the images are just way too big. So yeah, Blackpool branches already got that. You don't need to advertise to me. So yeah, um, introduction, blah 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 blah. So yeah, this is the stuff we're getting with the route. So yeah, this. The manual basically contains all the details for the route. So yeah, we'll get Kingmore Yard, Kingmore Depot, Carlisle, Penrith, Oxenholm, Carnforth, Bear Lane, Morecambe, Lancaster, and Preston as the stations. So yeah, here. Um, so yeah, here's Preston. We've seen it all before. It's included with back, basically recycled from Blackpool branches one uh, one to one. But it's so good that I don't really care. Here's a top-down view. Looking pretty good. One thing I do notice is that it looks like the AI traffic has co is completely, like, almost 100% recycled from the Nidertal bomb, which is interesting. Okay, so now he here is Lancaster. Um... Lancaster Station, much smaller than I expected for for serving such a big area. Here's Bear Lane. It's the first station on the Morkham branch. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, it's just images. So yeah, and here is Morkham itself. The branch itself is still operating, but the station itself has actually become a music venue in real life and the station is actually relocated to a more modern day place. Car Carnforth, again, WCML. None of the express services stop here, like the platforms were demolished, so only the local services stop. Oxenholm, looking pretty, Ox um, looks pretty good. Penrith, Okay, yeah, like, the scenery looks awesome. Car Carlisle Citadel, looking really gorgeous. I think Carlisle is, like, my favorite station on the route. It, it just looks really, 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 really good. Like, okay, route introduction, blah, 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 blah. Um, lots of waffle, lots of waffle, even more waffle. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of waffle. Come on, Waffle. Okay, right. The Morkham branch is comes off the WCML like north of Lancaster, then goes via Bear Lane to Morkham itself. You can actually walk around the entire, like, seaside area. You'll see. There's some pictures. Preston Power Signal Box. Can't go in that, obviously. Um, Filed Junction. St. Walberg's, Walberg's Church. Basically the same as in Blackpool branches, obviously. Tolketh Mill. A lot of old station sites. Um, a lot of stations were demolished when the WCML became more of an express line than a local line. Pennine Tower on the M6. Looks pretty good. Old good sheds. Another old station site. River Condor Viaduct. Look at, oh, look at the detail on, like, the little, um, like, on the stones. That looks awesome. Lancaster University. Looking really good. They didn't have to model that. It's so far away from the tracks. Lancaster Royal Albert Hospital. Again, looking really good. Lancaster Canal Overbridge. Looking really good. Like, Lancaster Station again. Come on, where? Okay, Lancaster Cathedral. Wow, that is beautiful. Lancaster Castle. Again, looking good. Former Railway Junction. Another former Railway Junction. Gasworks. 
Lancaster Corporation Gasworks. Carlisle Viaduct. That is such a good view. Looking down the looking down the River Loon toward the rest of Lancaster with the bridge in the foreground. That looks awesome. Ashton Memorial. <laughs> Which is really strange. So here's the junction to Morecambe, so the so yeah, it's Morecambe's off like this direction. Um, Bear Lane signal box, that's at Bear Lane Station. What you can't see is that in addition to the like manual pulling handles, it also has a ra rail crossing like operation buttons, but sadly those are not operable to because that would like interfere with court the core game. Nowadays it's actually been turned into a private uh, private house. Morecambe signal box. There's actually a full list further on of all of the um, signal boxes that you could go into. I'll probably find out eventually. Frontierland Western Theme Park in Morecambe. Fortunately closed down nowadays. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the Morecambe Seafront. So yeah, you like the station is like back here. You can walk all the way down to the, to the end of the seafront. There's uh, more Pier, sat, sat, sadly demolished a few years after this route is set. Winter Gardens Theater. That's another old station. Hest Bank Signal Box. Hest Bank in Morkham Bay. This is the closest the uh, WCML gets to the sea. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm I'm so impressed. Card for Steam Town and Old Museum, which is so, now sadly not operational anymore. <clears throat> and the old cell side single box, which was moved to Carnforth as, as an exhibit. Does a furnace railway single box at Carnforth. I love the architecture. That's so cool. It's like a miniature, like medieval house. Another single box. Another single box. And another single box. Another side of an old station. Another side of an old station. Good old good shed, which which. For, judging by the scenery, it's been turned into a like a farmhouse, an old canal tunnel. Sad, uh, sadly, no longer operational. Docker viaduct, which looks really cool. The catenary reminds me of the Glossop line, like the old style catenary. Old, old signal box, low gill viaduct. The railway doesn't go over it. I think it's like a road viaduct nowadays. Um, old station, another another old junction, Loon Gorge, which looks really good. <laughs> like, oh, man, that look. Oh man, I can't wait to take the eighty-seven up that old T Bay station, T Bay railway cottages, the Shap Summit. Then there's also a granite quarry. I think you could do some shunting operations around there, something like that. Um, Hardendale Quarry, the old Shap Station, another quarry, Louther Viaduct, another another viaduct. Lo they love Roman style arches. The designers of this line must have loved Roman style arches. Yanworth Hall, Grade One listed building built back in the 14th century, looks really good. Like I I like I'm so excited. The Clifton Clifton Viaduct, um, another junction, Penrith Castle, sadly ruined, but okay. Another old station site, another old station site, and another one. Come on, another one, another one. Car Carlisle Upper B TMD, which is a traction maintenance depot. Some of the the carriage sheds demolished in 2016. Some of the land is now used by Network Braille for office space and equipment storage. Carlisle Citadel, which the station is named after, um, built by King Henry VIII, built, um, completed 1541, looks really good. Um, Carlisle pa uh, Power Signal Box, can't go in that. Carlisle Cathedral, another grade one listed building. Carlisle Castle, Etobi Bridge looks good. I love the, I love the, the, I like the design, and it also has like a little pedestrian bridge going next to it. 
I wonder if we'll be able to guard that pedestrian bridge. There's no confirmation that we'll be able to. King more TMD. Bit more modern than the Carlisle TMD. So yeah, we'll be able to do like shuts out of that. Then there's a yard. Then there's an old branch line. Then there's a branch line. There's another yard. London, London Road Goods Yard. And I think that's it. No, okay, yeah. So now we're into the locomotives. The 87 stroke zero. At the time this route is set, they were only they were ju only just over like ten years old at this point. They were pretty they were pretty new. Um so we get two liveries, BR Blue and BR Intercity Executive. I personally prefer Intercity Executive. There's actually only one Fun fact, there's actually only one 87 included with this pack that doesn't have a 3D model nameplate, which is pretty cool. Um, right. So, neutral fun ugh, section functionality is um, simulated. So, this little sign means that neutral si section is one mile away, which means you'll have to put the power control lever in one run-down position to basically turn the throttle off. This sign is, shows the start of the neutral section, and then when the line, like this one here, re-illuminates, um, <clears throat> um, that means you can put power back in. Um, so yeah, how to drive it, so ma like master control, master key, all that good stuff. So, but, point out, to put it into reverse, you have to press, not only put this into reverse, you also have to press this little button here with the ne three next to it. Main brake, locomotive brake, like the main console, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's, it's pretty, like, normal for a British locomotive. Um, switches, AWS Sunflower, yeah, there's a little there's a DS, uh, DSD, of course. There's a guard buzzer. Windows can be put down. You can adjust the seat height, which I think it's the first train in the game where you can actually do that. Pretty cool. You have to... You can go in the machine room, but only if you press the crouch button and are crouching. Another important thing is, if you, you have to have the AWS cab end change lever pulled up and the AWS on in order for the train to move. To in order for it to recognize like inputs from that cab that you're in. So there's the machine room. Basically there's a lot of circuit breakers. Which probably none of which I'll ever need to use. Uh but but just what the circuit breakers do Okay, and now we get to the class 47 stroke 4, which we already had from Northern Trans Pennine and Blackpool Branches, but this is the improved Blackpool Branches version. But we actually get a couple of new versions. So we get BR Blue with black head code box, BR Blue with yellow head code box, British Rail Intercity Scott Rail. Which looks pretty cool and has a little snowplow on the front. I do like that. And then the normal intercity livery, which I've driven on the channel quite a bit. Then BR Large Logo Blue with black head coat box. BR Large Logo Blue with yellow head coat box. And that, yeah, that's all of them. So there's, there's quite a few different versions that we'll get. And bear in mind... All of the locomotives that I'm talking about right now, unless I say so, are included with the route. So the 87, 47 so far are included with the route. 47, pretty self-explanatory. A lot of, already know how to operate this thing. Um, up a console, blah, blah, blah. Uh, do, do, do. AWS, cab end change, handbrakes. All right, now we get to class 08. So basically, your bog standard shunter. So now this is the type A. There's multiple different versions of the type A. Black, uh, black accents and yellow pit. Uh, for, I'm going to call them pistons. I don't know the exact term, but I'm just going to call them pistons. Type B, 
red accents, red piston. Type C, yellow accent, yellow piston. Type C, weathered, which I'm, like, weather. They, they just laconically call it weathered. Like, I think that's putting it a bit mildly. It looks as though it's barely escaped a, an explosion in a flower mill. <laughs> I presume this is for this version is for shunting around the chalk quarries near Shap, but it's it's absolutely covered in I pre, what I presume is chalk dust. <laughs> I've never seen a train this weathered in TSW. Like it's so funny. All right, and then there's the Type D, Red Accents, Yellow Piston, and then there's the Wigan TMD, which does something around Prist Preston, little flower on the side, Red Accents, Yellow Piston. I do like this one. 08, number 08744, Wigan TMD. This, this is already included with Blackpool branches. I love using it. Console area, pretty sure it's, um, um, we could just skip past that. <coughs> Um, um, all right, now we get to the class 101, one of the first DMUs produced, top speed, 70 miles an hour, so we get two different versions, we get BR blue, blue and gray with two cars, and then the same livery with three cars, so I think with Northern Trans Pennine, we got the two car version, and with Tees Valley, we got the three car version, I'm pretty sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So, there are a bunch of changes to the class 101 to make it to bring it more up to par with the rest of the trains. Full pneumatic simulation for the gear. Uh, this is on top of the the 101 that we already had. Full pneumatic simulation for gears, throttle, and final drives, as well as other revisions to the vacuum brake system to bring it like close to reality. New audio, including new vacuum brake sounds, dead man system implemented, text interior texture improvements, minor texture changes on the exterior, roll of blinds appropriate for the Preston to Carlisle route with Blackpool North and Blackpool South added, guard to driver buzzer, guard mode, in guard mode implemented, there will be more on that later, AWS change ended isolation implemented, which only, which which only used one lever before, but now has two, as per real life. New exhaust effects, like the drifting smoke, and accurate end changing procedure. So yeah, the changing end procedure, I won't go into that today, but it's all explained here. You can't, um... Bunch of stuff for that. And now we get to the rolling stock, so yeah. The Mark One Blue Gray, which is which, the Blue Gray Braked Guard Coach, Blue Braked Guard Coach for News, Blue BR Blue used non braked used for parcel carrying, Blue Gray used for parcel carrying, Mark One NHA coaches, which are new with this add on which are braked guard coaches with 110 mile an hour ratings, which are used as the luggage vans at the back of the consists with the Class 87. Then there's also an intercity livery, which also looks pretty dang ace. I do like the, intercity, the old BR intercity livery. Now we get to the Mark II coaches, which we already had. T uh, TSO Blue Grey tourist, uh, tourist Standard Open coaches. First, cl first class compartments, and now we get to the good stuff. Uh, good coaches, the Mark Threes. We are previously had Mark Threes in the game with Great Western Express. They were coupled up to the H the the Great Western Railway HSTs, but these Mark Threes are going to be fully custom made. So, first class open blue gray, which has like this configuration. It's just like very 1980s. Look at like those seats just scream the 1980s. Then there's a then there's the city version, which does look really good, yeah, with a slightly different slightly different colored interior. Then there's a blue gray one, which is half first class, half buffet car. Sadly, the buffet is always closed for some reason. Don't know why, but. And there's an intercity version of that, which has a brighter interior color, I think. 
Then there's the standard standard class blue gray with the with some rather uncomfortable looking seats. Then there's an intercity version of that with some nicer looking seats. Um, and then we get now we get to the freight rolling stock BBA steel wagons, which we can set. So if you're a person who uses like free roam or probation designer. You can select steel coils, steel slabs, or empty configurations of the wagon, which is pretty cool. Then we have the FFA and FGA container wagon, uh, container flat wagon things, which have loaded or unloaded configurations. Again, for the people who like using free roam or formation designer, these are brand new. First time, if you look over there, where my mouse is, Freightliner, uh, Freightliner, um, we... Just Trains managed to finally procure the Freightliner license, so I'm hoping to see a Freightliner 66, if anything. Training modules, blah blah blah. Ways to experience the route. Scenario, so we get scenarios. Southbound liner, which is operate uh, with the with the BR Blue Class 87. Operate a liner train from Kingmore to Preston. Late running passenger services mean you'll be looped on numerous occasions. Difficulty 4. Duration Two hours, 25 minutes. Oh, that's right up there with some of the longest services I've ever seen in TSW. Um, then there's current collection, which has the difficulty three and one hour and 40 minute duration. And then it, it's with the class 08 type A. Use the Kingmore shunter to take some broken wagons to the works and bring back some freshly repaired ones. Then there's the tap changer. With difficulty of four, one hour, 30 minute duration with the class 87 intercity. Operate a Christmas relief train from Preston to Carlisle. Take extra care as it's rather snowy. Then there's the first generation stopper. Difficulty of two, one hour, duration one hour with the class 101. Operate a round trip from Carnforth to Morecambe, taking workers home in time for dinner. Then there's, and then the last one is broken down. Difficulty three, one hour, 30 minute duration. And with the class 47, uh, BR Blue, rescue of failed down services blocking the line to bring the stranded passengers to Carlisle. That's all the, that's the, all of the scenarios. So now, <sighs> journeys, don't really use that. Um, conductor mode. So conductor mode allows you to select whether you want to drive the train or be the guard, only available on some passenger services, indicated by this little ticket icon right here. But it's simulated, I have heard from other sources that it is simulated on most 87 and, and 101 services for now. And then also the... Class 142 Pacer from Blackpool Branches will be getting guard mode along with this route for as a free update for owners of Blackpool Branches. How to be a conductor, blah, 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 free roam. Uh, do, do, do. Um, tasks. Uh, collectibles, don't really do them, but for people who do, there's missing rail tool posters, missing route maps. Castle dioramas to be completed, submit cake to eat, and load the brute mail trolleys. Right. Mastery challenges, two tiers as per usual with the vast majority of routes, and they will unlock surprises. We actually don't know what the mastery reward for this route is going to be as yet. So if anyone does know, please let me know down in the comments. So... Yeah, creators, uh, fast travel will be implemented as per usual. Then there's route hopping where you can go from Blackpool branches to WCML and back using this little icon here at Preston. That'll be good for like continuous surfaces. Oh yeah, so now we get to the layers. These are, op of course, optional. And so uh, if you own them, we'll give a more authentic experience. So these are the compatible ones as of November 2024. Tees Valley Line, Darlington, Darlington to Salford Night to Sea, which gives you the Class 37 and the HEA wagons. There's West Cornwall Local, Penzance to St. Austell and St. Ives, which give you the Sea Cow and Turbot wagons. There's Spirit of Steam, Liverpool Lime Street to Crew, which is like the worst route in the game. 
which gives you the LMS Jubilee Mark 1 Coach's 16-ton mineral wagon and the 20-ton brake van. BR Heavy Freight Pack, which is for Northern Transpennine, I believe, for the Class 40, Class 20 for the Class 20, obviously, and the PGA wagons. There's the Class 31, which gives gives you the Class 31 and the PCAV cement tank wagons. Blackpool Branches, Preston to Blackpool and Olmskirk, it gives you the Class 1 for 2 Pacer, which I think has all the same services as Class 101, and the TEA tanker wagons. Northern Transpen on Manchester to Leeds for the Class 45 Peak, and the Flying Scotsman for the Flying Scotsman, like, to show up. There's achievements, drive the Route Explorer, drive the Class 87 for 87 miles within the speed limit, which should be done with, like, the first timetable service that I do. All in the bag, complete fi all five scenarios. <whistles> complete 15 coupling maneuvers, complete 20 services, and complete all the route tasks, which presumably means all the collectibles as well. Route livery designer and scenario planner. So the following livery locomotives and coaches are compatible with the livery designer, the 87, the 101, the 47, the 08, the Mark 1 NHAs, the Mark 1 BGs, Mark 2As and Mark 3As, Scenario Planner, uh, Formation Designer, and the credits. So yeah, thanks to all of these people showing up on the screen. So yeah, that is all of the details of the manual. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.